So uh, kind of jumping in after uh, talking about documentation, I wanted to talk about our like website and documenting ourselves to the outside world. And something we often struggle with is, um, I compared it earlier to making a cake. Our cake inside, what our functionalities are really good. OpenNMS as a project is amazing, but we don't do a very good job of decorating it. So our we could use some work on our frosting. And um, so currently, um, we most we mainly have three websites. We have the wiki, which is right here, and this is something that anybody can edit. Um, it has varying levels of activity. Most of it gets edited around Dev Jam time. Uh, we currently have OpenNMS.com, which is currently, of course it bugs, okay. Um, it is currently really for the OpenNMS group and the commercial offerings uh, that we have around OpenNMS. And then um, we have OpenNMS.org, which is intended to be um, sort of more the community side and talking about the technical information and Horizon and whatnot. Um, and uh, I think that something that we kind of have a blind spot as well is keeping up all three places. So um, just being the group that we are, um, we had a conversation this week about how to condense this and make it easier to maintain. And so what we propose is uh, turning OpenNMS.org and basically redirecting it to the wiki and restructuring the wiki a bit to look like some other projects, um, make it more accessible. People generally feel comfortable editing it. Uh, and then move the content that is currently on .org to .com and make it more of a neutral environment. So we have our technical information um, community information, how to contribute to the project, everything on .com. And we do have the TOG services listed there as well, but I'm going to take off the, the commercial hard sales pitch feeling out of it and make it more just open NMS because Horizon was .org, Meridian was .com, and I think that it was a really subtle difference and people got really confused pretty often. And so I think that if we focus on just promoting open NMS as it is, um, we might find more success and people from the outside looking in. And uh, to that end, I started exploring using a new tool um, to start planning the site better instead of just kind of jumping in and trying to write all this content blind. And it's called Jump Chart. Um, it is a subscription thing. I just got a, a trial account and I can add as many members. So people who would like to contribute uh, can. And basically um, you can just make an like a overview of the site navigation and it's way zoomed out. Um, however you want it to look. And then uh, edit pages using Markdown. So, um, I just kind of sketched something out here. This is not necessarily set in stone. Um, so if there was a user that wanted to come in and change this text, which is just copy pasted from .org currently, they could just come in here and type whatever they want. Um, and we can kind of talk about it as a community. Um, and then of course I have the commercial offerings there as well, because oftentimes when people are exploring an open source project for use at the enterprise level, they need it to be supported. And I think that would do them a service to see that there is that offering right offhand. And um, oh, also something we talked about this week, uh, we wanted to emphasize more content generation because that tends to boost your visibility online. That's uh, having more dynamic content is what really drives um, people to your site these days. So, of course, Ben does Twio every week, which is awesome, and that helps a lot. Um, but we also wanted to try and encourage both developers and users to submit articles and use cases um, that we would post officially on the blog. And, of course, they get all the internet points for doing that. Um, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. So it would be probably through WordPress. They just apply for an account. Um, an editor has to approve it. If any, like, native speaker sprinkles need to get tossed in there, we can do that and talk about it. Um, nobody's going to say Taurus has a big mouth. Um, <laughs> um, so that's kind of what I was thinking with um, .com. And then with the wiki, um, I really like the stuff that we have there now. I think Marcel was working on cleaning up some of the uh, less relevant pages this week. Um, but I was thinking of maybe making, oops, wrong, of making the sections of it more visible on the homepage. I really like how we have the graphic layout, but maybe have it able to be expanded some more. And so I wanted everybody to be able to see all of the access points to the community um, and feel free to contribute more corner cases or uh, weird case studies, things that um, the OpenNMS official site doesn't want to either support, um, like offer support for, or um, like maybe it's not really quite suitable for the general public. Well, I hope it's suitable for the general public, but <laughs> and not like really common. Um, and people could like, oh, hey, these are my weird tips and tricks. Um, something that maybe isn't best practices, but something that you absolutely can do. Um, and then have um, external links to things like the OCA, JIRA, um, the different tools that we use. Um, and uh, obviously make sure that they know to go back to .com if they need any official stuff. And we would also link to all the official documentation as well, which is what Ronnie talked about. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Any questions or... Yep. How do you see the relationship going forward between the official documentation and the wiki? Given that quite often uh, people can correct the wiki and can you know, make changes or whatever, but they can't do that so easily in the main documentation. Right, and that's an intentional thing. So what we talked about was basically the official documentation is what Alejandro has to support. <laughs> And uh, if, there, if it's in the wiki, then it's kind of like use at your own risk. Um, if you're, especially in the use case of a support customer. Um, but uh, I think that it's certainly fine for people to flag things in the wiki and ask to submit it into the official docs, just like Ronnie was talking about where we have our blind spots. So. This if I can add to that, no one ever corrects anything in the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> Then we should like. Definitely watching for wiki. Yeah, we should definitely add something to flag it, but like then it should be removed from the wiki and pointed to the real docs. We've got and a template you, for that in our wiki. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sweet. So, like, <laughs> you know, if you want to add something, you can always go into the talk page for that redirect or whatever, and you know that kind of stuff. But in the real world, no one, no one really does that anyways. So we summarize that for the video since you probably didn't get that done very well. Oh yeah. So um, what Ben basically said was uh, since nobody actually edits our wiki. <laughs> um, except Marcel. Except Marcel. Marcel does. Um, kind of, uh, there's a template that we use um, to flag that if it does need to go into the official docs, then it can be reviewed, be put into the official docs and deleted from the wiki. Um, which reminds me actually something else I was thinking about on the um, new.com site. When we list all the features, uh, which... Jesse made me a comprehensive feature list, so that's awesome. Um, when we list, when we talk about them on .com, uh, something I saw on another project was they have a link list on the side that says, hey, this is where you can find more information about this in the official documentation. These are related wiki articles. These are related blog posts with this tag. So um, just try to make everything as interconnected as possible and easy to find information about. So... Yeah. Is there any way of using metadata to do a lot of things? For using metadata to associate yeah, everything? Associate I would imagine, absolutely. We could use metadata, uh, especially, I've seen it especially for the blogs, just 
search for that tag. Yeah, we could pull from wiki. Just to summarize, we could pull from wiki categories, maybe try tagging the documentation more. That'd be cool. All right. I guess that's it for me then. Thank you. Thanks.